Assalamu alaikum and good day to you all. Hope you are doing well at home. Today is Thursday, 18 March 2021 and we have the first revision online lecture of English. So let's start from unit 16. The name of the unit is the sun. This unit is all about sun and earth. Sun is a star which is made of hot gases. It is nearest star to earth which makes it special. The surface of sun is 50 times hotter than boiling water. Huge explosions takes place in the sun which send tiny pieces flying into space. The sun also has dark spots which are called sun spots. The sun has been burning for, for nearly 5 billion years. 1 billion is equal to 1 crore. So you can imagine that okay, 5 billion is equal to 500 crores. Life on earth is impossible without sunlight. Sunlight is very important for the earth because without it, no life is po uh, possible on the earth. It warms and provides light to earth. Earth spins on its axis and it goes around the sun. And earth completes one round around the sun in one year. The sun can also cause skin damage. So it is very important to apply sun protection creams on face and hands when we go out or we awake we are we go out in the sun. Also do not look directly at the sun as this cause this can co uh, cause damage your eyesight. So this was the st summary of unit 16. Now come to the Exercises of Unit 16 Page number 80 Exercise B Find the words in the story that match each of the description below. Close the star, the sun. The sun is the closest star to the earth. Enormous, gigantic. Shape of a ball, sphere. The shape of a ball is sphere, sphere, S-P-H-E-R-E. -E. Destroy means damage. Our planet, the name of our planet is Earth. Blasts means explosions. Twists, spins, the movement of uh, moving around. Okay. Difficulties, problems, not bright. Dark. D A R K. Dark. Imagine, can you think of three words that describe the weather when the sun is shining? We have to describe that uh, weather in three words. So we can say bright, fine, and warm. There are a lot of words which we, we which we can use here. So now come to page eighty one. Grammar. A noun is often called a naming word. The naming words are called noun. We know it. It can be a name of a person, place, animal or thing. Sometimes we put a before a noun. If a noun begins with a wall, a, e, i, o, u, we use an, an instead of a. Example, my aunt is an author. A is a Wall, so we will write an. An elephant has a trunk. Trunk is a T is a consonant, so we will write a. So we will write a with the consonant and an with a wall. Octopus. Octopus, so we will write an octopus. House, a house. Monkey, a monkey. Pen, a pen. Dog, a dog. Alligator, an alligator. App, an app. Egg, an egg. Bird, a bird. Piano, a piano. 
igloo and igloo because igloo starts from i clear and i is a wall so we will write an here nose our nose use the nouns now come to exercise b use the nouns above with a or an to fill the blanks so we have to use the the, uh, the nouns which are used um, in exercise a here which are mentioned in exercise a so we have to write th these nouns in exercise b for filling the blanks with a and an so first is dash has eight legs in the picture you can also see it it is called an octopus an octopus and and are we use for singular clear keep this in your mind when we are talking about a singular noun then we will use an and a i saw an alligator in the murky water now you will say that what is alligator alligator is like a crocodile it belongs to the crocodile family dash chirping woke me this morning who chirps a bird an igloo is made from ice igloo is a house constructed of ice block clear i need a dash to play the tune a piano a dash and uh, and dash are closely related a monkey and ab are closely related i write with a pen i often eat an egg for my breakfast i have a nose to smell with okay we use um, nose for spell, smelling something a kennel is a house kennel is basically uh, used for the dog's house a house for a dog now exercise c underline the nouns in the sentences we have to just underline the nouns i saw a rose bush in the garden so we will underline rose bush and garden the tall boy pushed his sister in this sentence we have two nouns boy and sister we have a cat and a dog at home cat dog home we have three nouns in this sentence number 4 my book is in my school bag book is a noun and school bag is also a noun we travel to school in the car school car i have a brother and sister brother sister i love going to paris on holiday so we will underline paris and holiday i tied it the cushions on the sofa cushions and sofa just sofa clear farmers looked after their cattle so we will just underline farmers and cattle we pick potatoes for my uncle every summer we will underline potatoes uncle and summer keep this thing in your mind that we have to just underline the uh, nouns no need to underline the articles article means a and the now next page page 82 find the words in the list that mean the opposite of those in the table very easy exercise we have to just pick the correct opposite for the given words real its opposite is fake nearest farthest near gigantic clear gigantic means very huge and its opposite is tiny which means very small direct indirect night day on off o double f off lock unlock dead alive friend enemy we know the meanings of all these words guilty innocent clear guilty means to feel guilt for something which we have done wrong clear so we the feeling 
uh, which we have in our mind or in our heart is just it is called guilty okay when we feel a guilt for doing something bad okay and its opposite is innocent now exercise b vocabulary use a rhyming word to complete each sentence properly rhyming words we have read this many times uh, i think in each and in each uh, unit we have read about rhyming words so again we will i will repeat the definition that rhyming words mean uh, the words which have the same ending sound ending sound clear so we sit in the second row and watch the show show is the rhyming word of row the jeweler sold all the gold sold gold she threw the ball against the wall ball wall same ending sounds they have we put the fish in the serving dish clear fish dish shake the mat and lay it flat mat flat please don't fold the paper until you are told clear we will write here told not scold okay told we will write here told clear we will not write scold here clear because we have to write here the second of form of anything clear so scold is not suitable here so we will write told just told i was so hot i felt like i would melt clear i am much too hot to lie in this spot clear spot plot is also we can also write the plot so next is word structure write words that begin with the same letters clear we have to write those words which start from these letters like first one is sl so slope slit slip slow slap slim slant slept sleep slide then is pr pride proud pray prize prank problem promo praise there are a lot of words which start from these letters sw sawat swam swim swiss sweet swell swiftly swimmer then is th thick thin there throw through these them then is str stroke straw strong strange street then is descriptors descriptor means describing describing words choose two adjectives adjectives from the list below to com- to complete each sentence clear the first sentence is the dash dash sun sits high in the sky the bright burning sun sits high in the sky it is important to wear sun protective cream the sun is really a gas spherical spherical is a shape ball on sunny days we wear stylish and tinted shades tinted means having color tinted shades to protect his eyes the surface of the sun is 50 times hotter than boiling scalding water scalding means very hot then is exercise e teaser time unscramble the letters to find the correct word treats you when you are sick who treat us when we are sick a doctor we will just write doctor boils the water for your tea kettle you write with it pencil then is page 83 unit 16 page 83 write the words that match the descriptions clear words begin with m the word should start from m we get it from cows we get milk and we can also write meat here you put it in a purse 
we put money in the purse we you can also write mobile here a mischievous zoo animal mischievous means naughty we have read this word in unit 1 so monkey is a mischievous animal a large round yellow fruit a large round melon we will write here melon we can't write mango here clear because they are saying about a round yellow fruit and large there are 60 in an hour 60 minutes in an hour words begin with n used with a hammer nail squirrels gather them nuts we know that squirrels eat nuts babies wear these nappies n a p p i e s words begin with n not very wide wide narrow a very short sleep nap n a p nap then is true false the sun is very large star tick the sun is hotter than boiling water tick the sun keeps the earth cool cross the sun gives us plenty of light tick the earth twirls twirl means turns around the sun tick the sun helps plants to grow yes the sun can cause damage skin damage true it is important to wear sun cream yes it is good to look directly at the sun cross because it can damage our eyesight the sun sometimes fall out of the sky no then is exercise c grammar underline two nouns in each sentence she ate chicken for dinner so the nouns are chicken and dinner we gathered shells on the beach shells and peach i put the flowers in a vase flowers and vase we cut the bread with a knife bread knife it is in the boot of the ca- boot of the car boot and car so this was unit 16 all about unit 16 now we are going to revise letter so before going to revise letter we have to know about the letter pattern so we start the letter with our address clear and we started the address we start the address in the top left corner here top left corner of the page first of all, we start the address with the house number first of all we have to write the house number because we li- basically the ad- we have to locate our house so first come house house number clear you will write the house number or if yeah, you can also write the name of your house some houses have the names also clear so house number clear then comes street that in which street it is uh, located so street number or street name then comes area okay after house and after street we will put comma it mean that the address is not finished it is going on it is continue so we have to put comma then comes area in area we can write the name of our colony the road if our street or house is located on any road near to the road we have to, we can locate colony clear or area like uh, different areas like we can say gulbahar uh, sadar clear kent um there are a lot of names clear so you can also locate the area or you can also write the name of a road and after this we again put a comma because the address is not finished here on the fourth step we will write the name of our city that in which city our house our colony is located so we will write peshawar and after the peshawar we will put full stop it means that address is completed here below this include the date clear include the date with the full spellings of the month clear after the month we will put comma and after the year we will put full stop then comes the 
okay formal letters will start with dear we are we uh, letters are used usually uh, written for the in the formal way so we will start with the dear clear before the name of a person clear or a title we write the name for a person like we can write the name of our brother if we are we are going to write letter to friend so we can write the name of a, uh, our friend and we can also write the name of our brother or sister but for the elder people like our aunt our father our mother we will write dear father dear mother we can't write their names so we will write the title dear father dear mother dear aunt dear uncle clear for the younger peoples for the friends we can write their names and after this comes comma and then we will start the letter like i am fine clear or we can also ask about their health okay then we have to describe the reason that why we are writing this letter clear okay then comes pay my regards we have to end the uh, letter in a very pro in a very proper way so we will end it by saying pay my regards to uh, all at home or any to my cousins if you are writing any relative clear or if you are writing to our family members so we can say to the family clear then comes your loving friend clear your loving friend but in your uh, class class 4 is going to write the letter to aunt so they will write your loving niece clear you are you are the niece of your aunt clear so then you will write your loving niece then you will write after this you will put comma and at the end you will write your complete name and then you will put a full stop hope you are clear about the letter pattern so now come to the homework that is homework write a letter to your aunt thanking her for the birthday gift you have to write a letter to your aunt thanking her for the birthday gift so hope you are clear about all the exercises thanks for listening me goodbye